back at our ever-expanding base. Uh, we're recording so far ahead that I don't even know which episode this is going to be in and if it's going to be the beginning of an episode or the end, so <laughs> I don't know if I need to do an intro or what, but I'm going to go right into it. Um, yeah, so we're back at our base and we have been spending the riches we did uh, we got from the uh, quarrying. Quarrying's not finished, uh, it's still stopped because uh, we have to expand the storage from the quarry. We made such a big quarry that uh, it created a, uh, a big challenge for storage. I think I've got that worked out, but there's a few steps to lead to that. Um, before I get into that first, I just wanted to show you a couple upgrades here. Um, we've got an, uh, a centrifuge extractor now, uh, which uses more power, but is a lot faster. Um, it takes a bit to, to warm up, it like gets up to speed, um, and then once it's really rolling, the stuff just comes right through it, and it's got more space too. You can normally you could only put uh, half a stack of of sticky resin in the normal extractor um, because you'd overfill the um, this part would get to 64, uh, or actually no, it triples it, so you could only put 21. Uh, previously. Now you can put a whole stack because it's got extra spaces to keep them in here. Um, so yeah, that's an upgrade. we got the centrifuge extractor. Uh, I don't have anything to put in it right now, but we've also got rotor two rotary macerators. Uh, oh look, it's got some tin ore. Put that in there. So it's got a little backup place, so if you got two stacks, kind of a little hopper, although it's not automatic. And this does the same thing. It like slowly speeds up, but then once it gets going, it really just like grinds through the stuff. So it's just a lot faster. The uh, macerators were kind of a bottleneck, and then now those those speeded up the macerating so much that we had to double our furnaces. So now we've got four furnaces over here. Each rotary macerator um, sends items. Uh, once it hits this gold thing, it's gonna go. Pew! Here goes. <laughs> and it splits in two, so it's got a 50-50 chance of going into either furnace. And then all the furnaces feed through the back uh, into this big pipe right here. And they all go into our diamond chest, which is still looking pretty good. Even though we've been uh, spending a lot of our loot on these devices. Uh, what else? We've got the... Uh, I think you saw the thermionic fabricator, the... Carpenter. Now we've also got a squeezer, which was necessary to make the carpenter work, and we figured out how to do that, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. I got a bunch of stuff uh, set up to make that I've been waiting to do on camera. Oh, and also this is the other big upgrade I need to show you, is that we're automatically piping the lava into the geothermal generator now. So the geothermal generator is always full, as long as the lava supply that this uh, goes to uh, stays good. So let me show you where uh, this goes. I just put that there because uh, here is the open ravine. I don't want any guys accidentally making it into our base there. Um, so this goes down through the end of the ravine down below. And close the door. Uh, and come up here. Oh yeah, I was wondering if I had my jetpack on. And it comes all the way. Oops. Yeah. down to here um, and this has gone down a bit but here's the pump that is uh, powering the uh, th all the lava coming up the tube here I've just got four redstone engines on it which is not very powerful but we go through lava slow enough thankfully that this is plenty to keep the pipe filled um, so that's a big upgrade. We don't have to be going up and down with the lava buckets anymore. And I've seen the levels go down here some. Uh, hopefully we won't go through it too quick. There's quite a bit of lava to go through. So hopefully it'll take a while. Um, and the pump seems to pull it away from all the edges too. So I don't know how far under there it's going to pull it. You know, because this extends all the way over here. But uh, there's a whole other field of lava that way if we need to. So yeah that that was a big bold move uh, so now we have automatic power for as long as the lava lasts um, which is a big thing so yeah that's some of the upgrades uh, let me see I got a bunch of stuff to make here uh, first thing I want to make uh, you can see well 
what should I do first? What should I do first? I actually want to make, make and make and make and make a nano saber. I was going to make two. I got set up to make two, but uh, Nilo Rio uh, already has his. So I'm going to make mine. Uh, and I'll need to charge it up. Let me see if I remembered what to do. I think I forgot already. It was something, something like, aha, I remembered. All right, so this is a pretty cool blade. I think it needs to be charged up. I got your, your mining laser, Nilo. Here you go. And let me see. So yeah, made my nano saber. And uh, next, I want to make two portal guns. And I need one piece of obsidian still. So I thought I'll go get it. I got. Okay, great. So I'll make one right now. Then I'll I'll let you make the other when you get back up. Okay. So it goes like that, and like that, and then we need two pieces of obsidian. And one, two, three, four, five pieces of iron. And there it is. A portal gun. Woohoo! Doesn't need a charge, which is awesome. No. See, let's put a yellow one there. And we'll put a blue one there. Oh, it didn't work because of the torch. Put a blue one there. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that guy there. Oh, yeah, who is that guy? He's looking pretty cool. Woohoo! Hey, wait, what? <laughs> what? Ah, hey! Ho! Oh. <laughs> fun, fun. So, yeah, you press uh, R when you want it to go away. I actually have a specific purpose for this. I, uh, I want to set up a permanent uh, little, little um, way to get to the quarry really quick. So, I'm going to set up two portals and probably leave it like that for a minute until... Uh, we have another way to either teleporters or using Mistcraft to um, set up a little hub with link books or something like that. Um, but for now, I'm going to use the portal gun for that. And we can actually make multiple portal guns, too. Nilo Rio's got uh, his little Mistcraft writing desk here. And um, he did have some book stands. I don't know where they went. But uh, started playing with that a little bit. Uh, the last world we went to poisoned us, so... Uh, and we have to go to quite a few worlds to build up a symbol set to actually be able to generate worlds of our own choosing. Uh, I'm considering doing like Direwolf does and giving ourselves the notebook, a cheaty notebook, that's just so we have all the symbols and can don't have to go to a hundred worlds to, uh, to, to have all the symbols to create them. But I don't know, maybe you are supposed to earn it, so we'll see, we'll see. Um, Anyway, uh, so Nilo, are you going to make your own portal gun? Yes, but I don't have... Do you have the resources? Yeah, yeah. Uh, here you go. Here's your, um, your ender pearl. There's a diamond. Five iron. Uh, and you need one more piece of obsidian. I have one. Okay. There. And that was it, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, don't shoot the extractor. <laughs> Woo, that filled up pretty good. So yeah. Um and then let me see, let's get back to it. I got plenty more things ready to do here. Uh what else? Let me see. There's that and there's that and that. Okay, well where do I start? Um big plans, big plans. So let's start by making a couple world anchors. Uh, obsidian up top and bottom, diamonds left and right. What these do is they keep chunks loaded. Uh, so wherever you put one of these, your chunks will stay loaded. So I want to put one at this base um, and one at the quarry um, so that the machinery and the farms at either one of them will always keep working and I think I must have uh, there we go two world anchors so one of them goes here um, I'm not quite sure how far the radius of them goes um, but I want to keep this base and these farms 
going here. Um, maybe this world anchor should just be kind of our doorstep. <laughs> or uh, it probably could go down here just to be more protected. Um, how about right here? Hopefully it will work with our decor. One world anchor. Um, so now this base and all the stuff with it, hopefully to these other things I'm about to do, will stay loaded. You can hear Nilo playing with his new portal gun. I'm sure he's having a good time. Watch this. Uh, watching. Wait. Oh. You trying to jump up through it? No, I'm trying to do an infinite loop. Do I wonder if our portal guns work separately? Let's see, you can't fall through the one below you. No, because ah. Oh, they they we're linked together, so I was worried about this. What color is your gun? The regular. Is blue? Yeah. Mine's yellow. There's uh. Oh, they change when you shoot a portal. Oh, they change. Yeah. Um, they showed a recipe of one that had a yellow dye. Mm-hmm. And I got a piece of yellow dye mm -hmm. here somewhere. Maybe I'll dye mine. And I think that will make mine a different gun. Yeah, now mine is red. So I think when we shoot them now, we'll have uh, two different guns. Let me try. So yeah, now I've got yellow and red. So I think that I can do them without messing yours up. Yo. <laughs> What's happening? I got into a, some kind of little jiggle back and forth. I made my things too close. R. Oh, I, I, I was guy. playing with one of these in creative, and it was a great way to kill mobs. I had a stack uh, with a portal on top, and then I'd just go up to mobs and make the other portal underneath them, and just watch them appear up there and fall to their deaths. <laughs> I can do that later. When I have less stuff to do, less stuff to do. So, okay, here's the plan. Um, let me put this away before I shoot something. Is we need to get the quarry going again so that we can stay in resources. And there's some stuff to do over there. Uh, we need to come up with a sorting system, uh, which I have worked on. Uh, I've just, not there, but I, I, in creative, I actually designed a system with barrels. I think I'm going to use mostly and uh, set up a way how you can just put a bunch of barrels together to get them automatically sorting. Pretty simple, but just had to figure out how the pipes work on them and stuff like that. So I'm going to need a lot of barrels, um, and I want to redo the room that the, the sorting system is going to be in the, in the glacier. So I want to get that set up. I want to line it with stone brick or something. I need to expand it too. So I got some stuff here to set up some power over there. I've got a pump. Um, and a geothermal generator and some redstone engines to power the pump and some wire to hook things up and I'm uh, going to need some more of these over there because I want to do some more work with the filler and the builder and the architect table to help make the construction easier and then I got some stuff here to set up some iron furnaces and this is pump lava over there so we're going to get that set up over there um, set our world anchor and then get some uh, smooth stone making over there so we can get some stone brick um, and uh, let me see make sure I got some of that on me and the other part of that is I'm gonna need a lot of wood so uh, so far we've been getting our wood uh, just from this little mini block tree farm here uh, which is not cutting it and it's also just not in the style of this mod pack of getting everything automatic so I've got some ingredients set up here to make a arboretum and a logger and uh, we can get an automatic tree farm going and to do that uh, we're going to need to power it so we've got some combustion engine uh, materials here that we're going to put together and we and stuff for another um, pump which uh, is over here um, and we're going to Let's actually start pumping oil over here from that oil well over there um, that we haven't used yet and get an automatic tree harvesting farm. So I'm going to get right to that uh, after I do these things over at the quarry and get this portal thing set up. Oh, wait, I forgot to put my portal on this side. Um, 
and we also will have a, a rubber tree farm and there's all kinds of automatic farms uh, that we'll be getting into so let me get my portal gun back and we'll put uh, let's put a yellow one here it doesn't really matter I think um, and then I'm gonna make the journey over to the quarry and I don't even have to do it because I can just go through your portal you can go through my portal? Yeah. Oh, really? Yep. Cool. And then we can make even another color gun uh, so that I could have one to use and play with. I'm not quite sure how many colors we can make, but there I saw recipes for at least a couple couple colored ones. I call making yeah, I'm going to make it a pork gun. Uh-huh. A pork well, I, gun. A pork gun? Yeah. Yeah, those are funny. I think those... Uh, they make portals specific to everybody who plays. What do you mean? Um, I think, like, if you have a bunch of multiplayer stuff going on with portal guns, yeah. every one of those is, like, independently operated. Yeah, so let's see. Let's put it right, uh, let's say right here. Yep. So I can't see the other side. Let's see if it works. It goes, you can go through it. Ooh. You just came in through it, huh? Yep. Wow. Oh, there it goes. I was uh, a little no, reluctant to work at first. I can't Ooh. see anything. I'm in a chunk error. Yeah. Woo! Oops. <laughs> it's funny, you can't... St they must be too far away. I, I'm in a chunk error. You're in a chunk error? Yes. Are you stuck? No, I can fly up and down. Uh huh. When I touch the ground, I go bouncing up and down. Woo! Okay, back again. Uh, ended up changing colors. Uh, Neo Rio uh, experiment about what happens if you try to put a portal on top of a portal and it broke it. In the meantime, we switched guns because he liked my colors better. I'm finding these a bit temperamental. Sometimes they work, and sometimes they don't. So. Not sure if this is going to be reliable or not, um, but I'll play with that some more later. Um, and I thought I recorded doing this, but I didn't. Basically, I set the um, down here. We got this little lava source. I set the pump about above it, and it dropped its nice little black and white tube down in here. I'm not sure how much lava this is, but it'll give us some power for sure. That's a little start. Um, and uh, went back to the base and uh, got. Uh, s some cactus waterproofing so that we can or in this case I guess uh, lava proofing so we can do that and then we just need did I bring the waterproof stone pipe? I did and so now we're just going to bring this up and send it to a geothermal generator how about right there uh, Actually, it probably doesn't even need to do all that, huh? The, uh, I wonder if we could put it right on top of it. That'd be kind of interesting. Let's try that. Can we? Oh, can you set it right on top of the wood one? You can. You can set one on top of the wood one. The geothermal generator on top of the, the wood uh, pipe. Oh, yeah. Okay. Why could it be? I don't know. I'm still learning about pipes. Right now it's extracting from the geothermal. Oh, right. It's not going Water in the range. right... Where does it need to go in? Uh -huh. Alright, that's not working. Let's try this again. So, let's get my wrench. Get the geothermal back. Hopefully. I got it. I got, no, it. got it. Yeah. Okay, so let's give it one stone pipe then. Maybe it needs to come in from the side. No. Something. Maybe. Stuff. So we got that coming up. And. Yeah, I know no, it's working. Yeah, I knew that worked because that's what I did before. Mm. Okay. Um, there we go. So we could do that. And so now we got power. Power. Now this makes me a little nervous, but I like looking at it. Um, so why don't we just uh, make it kind of safety like that. And then we can watch it pumping. 
step above the lava put two pieces of glass <laughs> all right don't dance too hard right here mm -hmm. it's filling up yeah and these pumps are still warming up too so now I'm gonna um, make four furnaces uh, like that first we're gonna have to start with the uh, the iron furnaces like that and then we gotta turn these into oh here we go turn them into electric furnaces like that okay okay so yeah there's the four electric furnaces and then let's uh, pipe some power uh, from the geothermal over here. Uh, there's, oops, I need to shift right. And actually, uh, let's go take this system since uh, we're not going to be using this right here right now. Um, and we can, uh, I am going to be using power to uh, do th uh, the filler or the eraser at this point over there, but I think I can just pipe it from that. So let us uh, grab our wrench again and take uh, the MFE and let's take the LV transformer and let's see, we can take all this pi uh, copper cabling, fall in the water, come back up <laughs> and uh, grab this. I'm going to grab all this stuff. Take that. Use that later. Take this all apart. And then these. All oh, right, these are just straight generators. So we may need those later. Um, might as well take them, take them apart right now. Oh, that one had a jetpack in it. Were you charging your jetpack? Yeah. It's sitting on the ground over here. You want to come get it? I don't have inventory space. Are you right here? Got it. Okay. Okay, so salvage all that stuff. And then this is all very subject to change over here. Um, but let's keep working the power this way since we're going to need it for the filler eraser over here. Um, and then we can put our MFE right here. Store power in it um, for later for that. We'll put our LV transformer right there. And then uh, let's just stack our electric furnaces right here for now. Uh, we've got room for another eight on the sides. I mean, excuse me, another four on the other sides to make eight. And then, um, I think I got room. Let's grab some cobble. I don't have enough room for that yet. And start filling these up and making some smooth stone. Uh, I think I want to line this whole area with stone bricks since I have the power of these fillers and builders and things. Um, no need to leave it raw like this and no need to do it by hand. I can use it to transform the space. Um, wonder if I should make... I should probably make four more. Yeah, I'm going to do that and I'll get back to you. And You know, really should automate all this too. Have it pumping from that thing. Um, not sure if I'm going to get there today or not. We'll see. Alright, just grabbed a few more supplies back at the Savannah base. I love this part. It's kind of glitchy. Um, it works sometimes and not. And you can't see anything through it. I was hoping that with a world anchor on both ends, which we have now, you'd be able to see the quarry. But broop, there we are. Saved ourselves the journey. Um, yeah, I needed to grab some more uh, cobble. Oh, and guess what? I've got my nano saber on me and all charged up. Get back, get back, get back. Well, it drains pretty quickly while you have it on. I'm waiting for it to be night time so I can test it out on some unsuspecting moblins. Let's 
remembered one more thing I forgot over here. And I can't get through. Eh. Eh. <laughs> oh well. I think we're going to have to use uh, Mistcraft in the long run because these portals. I don't know, man. What's the dealio? I don't want to go the long way. Alright, I'll be back. Up, oh, flying back in the. Uh, seen our first uh, I was gonna say victim but no test subject wait wait don't get any damage yet BAM well, he already had damage the other guy didn't die quite yet or did he maybe he did and then uh, backtracking in time here I also forgot to show you that we made a singularity compressor and it works just like the rotary macerator and the uh, what was that other thing the uh, centrifuge extractor <laughs> in that when you put things in it spins it builds up speed and then works really fast so we got all three of these things done woohoo and spent um resources on them can't pick up the signs Sorry. yeah Whoa, looky there, you can see stuff through it now. Uh, well, you can see the pipe from the mining well. I can't go through it, but you can see the sunset. Very interesting. Neither Rio just logged off from the land world. I wonder if that had something to do with it. But it's no good if I can't go through it. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, I've got the, uh, oh, they're not, they're not electric furnaces yet. I've got iron furnaces made um, that are then going to become, dunk, 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 four more electric furnaces. So it's going to work this time. It's not, okay, i got to go over there the slow way again. See you over there. But that's all right, because I just realized the journey uh-oh. <laughs> the journey I'm about to do as soon as I charge up my uh, jetpack again is going to give me a chance to test my nano saber. Get the hang of all this soon enough. Where to go? There it is. Okay. See you when I'm charged. Okay. All charged up. Jetpack on. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go see what this thing can do. Alright, against this guy first. Ooh, one hit. That's nice. How about you guys? Step right up, step right up. You? Zombies take two. Skellies? Whoa, one hit. I love it. Because these guys have armor. I eat some steak. Oh my things still on using juice. I'm going to need a lap pack or some kind of mobile charging solution, but how can you use a lap pack and a jet pack? Arg. Oh, you got one on me. I got one on you. One, two. One, one, two. Two. Okay, let's see if we keep... Uh, oh, how about you, spider? Oh. No problem. One, two, three. Uh, nice, nice, nice. That's gonna really smooth things out. One more time. I'm supposed to be building things and I'm out here killing mobs. <laughs> I can't help it. Oh, 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 I thought I killed you. There you go. How about you, Skelly? Yum. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, one more group over here. Oh, wait. I just want to kill creepers now. I guess I gotta keep an eye on my charge, though, huh? That'd be pretty bad. I ran out of juice. Oh yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Who did that? 
turn that off. Oh, there you are. Not a whole lot of charge in it, though. Definitely need a mobile charging solution. But it's fun. I guess I gotta still carry a regular sword backup. I was hoping to free the inventory space. Okay, let's use more lava. <laughs> Charge up. Too bad it can't hold a hundred thousand or whatever. There must be an upgrade for it. There. Uh, let's see. Nano. Forty thousand. Forty thousand. Hmm. Not that I know of. Oh well. All right, coming in for a landing at our quarry sorting base uh, supply warehouse to be. Um, so we got our electric furnaces. Let's put those in. You know, I decided not to automate this yet because they're uh, in a very temporary place. And also the way I've got them hooked up with power to uh, pull items out of them you gotta take them out from the side and they don't have any sides left so I'd need to do this differently uh, but for now this is gonna work great uh, let me see I gotta make a little room in my inventory and put some stuff over here got all these extra things I don't need bones I don't think I need any levers for the moment I don't need these generators I don't think uh, Okay, let's see if that works for now. And then we can um, move some more stone around. So that tells me how much is in there if I right click. Uh, and then if I left click, stack, I need eight stacks, right? Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. And I had enough room. Okay. Let's get some more stone cooking. You know, I don't know exactly how much stone it's going to take to line these rooms, uh, but we will find out. And I also don't know uh, how the filler works with that, like you gotta give it to materials, it's not actually the filler, excuse me, I'm gonna use, but the builder. I'm gonna use the builder uh, in a pattern that I'll show you to uh, line these rooms with uh, the stone brick and I don't know if it'll start building if you don't get enough materials or it waits till it has uh, the full amount it needs, um, or if it'll stop part way without all of them, we'll find out. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know really how much we're going to need. Um, maybe find a place to depot it. Uh, maybe this will be where my smooth stone goes. So let's put it all in there with two right clicks. And let's see, let me see what my next thing to do is.